Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about with Mr. Jeremy is he is blind in one eye. So this left eye is perfectly, show your left eye, my sweet. This left eye is perfectly normal. He sees beautifully through it. There's no diminished capacity on the left eye. The right eye, he's blinded. And the interesting thing is that you can't tell. Normally, if they have a blind eye, they have the eye removed or um, it's, it's um, cloudy, you know, or it looks milky and white. With him, for whatever reason, um, his eye looks perfectly normal. We would never know that he was blind in this eye unless you did that. And you can see that he doesn't see at all. Do you want to stand over here a little bit and kind of show how that's really interesting? Isn't that interesting? So if you just looked at Jeremy, you wouldn't know. But because I knew, obviously, when he came to me, if you do that, you can see he can't see. He doesn't see at all. See how his eye doesn't react at all. So um, he's stone cold blind in this eye. And in this eye, he sees beautifully. And it's really not, and uh, you know, it's really, see how, see the difference, how he responds here. Um, it's, it's, it's not an issue. So let's talk just for a very short moment about horses with blindness in one eye. Yes, they have to acclimate to it. They have to get used to it, but it really is not a deal breaker in any way, shape or form. There's a lot of horses that have injured their eyes and have that eye removed. Um, and they can still be wonderful trail horses. They can still be wonderful performance horses. They can still be jumping horses, dressage horses. One of my gals, Betsy, pointed out that she knew of an eventer, which is, you know, hardcore, uh, in the Olympics that it had an eye removed. So it's really not an issue as long as it um, isn't uncomfortable to the horse. It's really not a performance or a, or a riding issue got two very important things to add to the blind eye. One, when you approach on the blind side, make sure you talk to them so they know you're there. It's very, very important. You can't just walk up on their blind side and lay your hand on their hip because they don't know you're there. All right. So as soon as I come around to his blind side, I'm always talking to him. Jeremy, I'm over here. I'm over here. Then you can put your hand on their shoulder or on their hip. But you gotta be aware of that. The other thing that I just remembered is you have to be aware that he can't see on that right side. So when you walk through a stall door or through a gate or whatever it is, make sure you give him enough clearance or into the trailer, make sure you give him enough clearance on that right side because he can't see. And we don't want him bumping into things and knocking his hip. So I'm going to turn around and walk him into his bedroom and you'll see how I make sure that he has enough room on the right.